going to do some commentary. Hey guys, good morning. This is Crystal from Elite Hair Care USA. So today we are doing um, some maintenance on my client here who has a shortcut. Um, we also have some pieces that we add to the front just for some length towards the front. So if you remember my client here, when she first came in, um, took them for me. She had a severe case of traction alopecia in regards to her hairline. Thus far, she actually has growth there. The hair has actually already began growing back. It is actually a good amount of growth, which we were just talking about. And we are somewhat thinking of going natural. So um, we're going to do a maintenance wash today. And with the maintenance wash, we're going to shampoo and condition her using our Hydra Strength shampoo and conditioner, which is that one. Okay. So we're going to shampoo and condition her with that. And I'm actually going to do a deep condition with the Hydra Strength. So you'll be able to see the deep condition process as well. So I'm going to tilt you guys down so you can see the bowl. Let me do that. There we go. And then I'll go through the shampoo process um, as we go along. So let me turn the water on here. I'm gonna have you slide down for me. So come up and put your shoulders in. Good. Okay. So she still has the tracks in her hair. Um, the reason why I'm not trying to take them out while her hair is dry is because that can actually induce more trauma than help. So what we do is we shampoo her hair with the track still in and they will just slip out all on their own anyway. So this is something that I do no matter if it's my hair, my client's hair, I just shampoo with the tracks in the hair and they will slip right out throughout the process, comb through it and we are back to where we need to be. So my water's on, it is warm. So we're gonna go ahead and desaturate her head. Now, even though she has a shortcut, does that eliminate her getting deep condition? No, it does not. Even with a shortcut, you can still do your protein. You can still do your moisture treatment, strengthening treatments. Whatever it is that you are going to need, you can still do it even with a short cut, okay? So I'm gonna start by using our Herbal Detox Shampoo, which serves as a clarifying shampoo, but it does not strip the hair of all of its natural oils, but it helps to cleanse the scalp, and it's very soothing to the hair and the scalp itself, and it is infused with organic charcoal. So I'm not really focusing on the actual tracks right now, they are gonna do their own thing. They will end up slipping out on their own. And I know a lot of people will be asking like, oh, okay, so the tracks won't pull her hair out even more. It won't make her grow back process worse. Took back from me. No, it actually does not. Um, we make sure we take absolute care, especially when my clients have tracks in the front or something of that sort. We really use it as a filler until my clients are able to get to where they need to be and then they'll be able to wear their hair without the track. But she only has three in the front. Took to the side right here for me. So this area here was actually almost bald. Am I right? Yep. Nice and bald. And look at that. She has growth, people. That is hair. This area we were actually using hair from back here to try to cover here. Now we don't even have to do that. We still use the assistance of the rest of her hair, yes, until it actually is 100% full. But her hairline has actually began growing out. These areas we could barely cover. Okay, sorry. Right, so what I'm doing now is I'm using my Hydra Strength shampoo, the restorative shampoo. Now the Hydra Strength Restorative Shampoo leaves the hair nice and soft and silky, it, but it, it's not very heavy like Moisture EOT. So this shampoo is great for relaxed or natural hair. Um, me specifically, I like it for relaxed hair because I feel like it gives just the right amount of moisture and it also gives the right amount of strength at the same time. So it's like an equal balance. So what I'm doing is just letting the track slip out and they're out. 
okay? Now, if the tracks aren't moving, I don't sit and force them. I literally just use my hands and just kind of move it off. Now, if I can't get it off, then I won't mess with it. I'll do another shampoo or I'll do the conditioner and then I'll take it off. But I never take tracks off when they're dry unless they're hanging off. So all the tracks are out. Come on back for me. So I'm still using warm water to rinse. So I'm not going to do a second, a third shampoo because it's not required. I can tell by the feel of her hair that it is nice and clean. And sometimes if you over shampoo, you work to dry the hair out more than you do to help moisturize. So you have to know when that shampoo is just enough. So what I'm doing now is I'm applying some of the Hydra Strength Restorative Conditioner on her hair. And now because she is relaxed, I'm going to put her under the dryer for about 10 minutes with a processing cap. And it's not only because she's relaxed, but because she also has a short cut, I don't want to make that hair even more heavy. So that's the reason why I'm only doing 10 minutes versus 15 minutes. And then when I say a processing cap, that means a plastic bag. All right, sit up for me. So I'm going to take her over to the dryer. The dryer is going to be warm. You do want it to be a warm dryer. All right. So I'm going to bring you guys over with me. And then we can chat while she's under the dryer. Which I have no clue where my towels are. I need to go and look for them. Until she is out of the dryer. And then we'll be able to um, finish out and mold her. So you can see the mold as well. So let's see if I had any. Oh, I guess not. Wow, that's different. No questions today. That's special. Anyhow, oh, hey, I like that. All right, so the process of what we're doing today is what we call shortcuts and maintenance. Maintenance on shortcuts is very important. Why I say that? Because people think that shortcuts are, in, are basically um, invincible. They don't need any maintenance. They don't need anything. They don't need any shampooing. <laughs> They don't need any deep conditioning. You don't need protein. It's short. It doesn't matter when it really, really does. So I have a shortcut. If you guys don't know already, um, I have single East Swiss right now, but about 90% of the time I have my shortcut. With that being said, short hair is typically more prone to being um, heavy. Um, it's sometimes more prone to being dried out. Reason being is it's very, very close to the scalp. But at the same time, there's so little hair that all of the elements kind of work against us. So you typically can't get it wet. Um, if you do get it wet, it requires you to now wash it and mold it again. Um, and I'm talking short, relaxed cuts, not natural cuts. That's a little bit different. Natural hair shortcuts don't really work out very well either. They typically um, revert just as quick as quickly. Um, they don't last as long. Reason being is you're so close to your heat zone, that hair goes 
in the instant, okay? Going outside, the elements, you know, whatever works against you with a natural hair shortcut. And it's not everybody, it's on a case-by-case -case basis. But for relaxed hair, you definitely, with a short style, you don't want to use extremely heavy products, especially if you have short, fine textured hair. If you already know this, but if you don't, I'll say it. If your texture is fine, medium, or coarse, it's very complicated to try to change your texture. You can't really change the texture of your hair. You can chemically alter it, or life changes, meaning in the body, can change the texture of your hair. But there's nothing that you can physically do with a shampoo or a conditioner to change the texture, the true texture of your hair, okay? With that being said, relaxed shortcuts, sometimes can require protein um sometimes can require moisture even though they're high porosity that doesn't mean that you don't need moisture that doesn't mean that nothing is required in regards to the actual maintenance your conditioners such as humectants um strengthening conditioners strengthening shampoos and that's another reason why i like the hydro strength shampoo and conditioner because it has an equal balance of strength but also moisture it leaves the hair nice and soft and silky but it also helps to strengthen that inner core of the actual cuticle itself making those two like a powerhouse especially for a short style that's actually my go-to shampoo and conditioner um, as of lately because I'm one of those people where I do have fine textured hair it is more susceptible to damage I do use a lot of spritz on my hair um, I mean, it's just life. That's just how life is. So I do use a lot of different products. And I don't know why I left this in black and white. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I do use a lot of different products on my hair. And it does require me to go back and rehydrate and moisturize and all that good stuff at least once every week to two weeks. For me, I try to do it every week right now because I have my twist. I'm doing it none at all other than me using my goddess serum and stuff. But... Yep. So short styles, definitely you want to make sure that if you are wearing a short style and you don't know how to maintain it yourself, I would absolutely, I can't even recommend it even stronger than what I'm going to say. Please find a stylist that you can trust. Short styles do require maintenance. They do require um, trimming. They do require sometimes deep conditioning, sometimes instant conditioning. Shortcuts require leave-in conditioner. And a lot of people think that leave-in conditioner is only for natural hair. Leave-in conditioner is for natural or relaxed hair. Now, the texture or the consistency of the actual product is what makes the difference. Am I going to use a cream-based, heavy leave-in conditioner on my client, such as Moisture ELT? No, I'm not. Why? Because it is a shortcut and I need to be able to use a small iron without making the hair even more heavy. I don't want it to deposit too much moisture. I want it to be just enough. So uh, am I going to use a milk leave-in conditioner, like a milk spray? Yes, you can use that. Um, a water-based leave-in conditioner. Yes, you can use that as well. You don't want something that's gonna weigh the hair down, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, my go-to leave-in conditioner for short styles is the hydration and strength um, leave-in spray. I use that. Uh, I always use my Herbal Detox Shampoo as my clarifying shampoo, always. Uh, I feel like it has greater benefits than just using a typical clarifying shampoo that's going to extract all of the oil from the hair, whereas I need to actually leave behind just a little bit of the hair's natural oils. I don't want to eliminate everything. It's like killing the good bacteria. You get what I mean? So you want to make sure that you are using a clarifying shampoo for your first shampoo, and then you go into your treatment shampoos. Um, lastly, leave-in conditioners are actually supposed to be used in, con in conjunction with a regular conditioner. So you are going to condition as you normally would with your conditioner that will be rinsed out and then apply your leave-in conditioner. They just love staring at my camera. Um, and then apply your leave-in conditioner at the end. Leave-in conditioner is more of a styling tool, a aftercare product, and not a direct care product. So it's not one that is to take place of a actual conditioner. And I know a lot of people do that where they will use um, leave-in conditioner in place of regular conditioner. And that's not how it's supposed to work. You need one to help the other. Okay? Leave-in conditioner can be used... Um, 
outside of your wash day if needed but it's not something that i'm going to use during the shampoo process to take place of my conditioner okay so once my client comes from under the dryer we're going to rinse her with cool water i am going to slightly detangle her because even though she has a shortcut you do still want to make sure you run your comb through the hair while it's wet with the conditioner on to allow any type of little tangles or little knots or anything to be out before you actually go to do the mold. You don't want to wait until the mold to try to detangle your hair, okay? Just because you have a shortcut, that doesn't mean that you don't have to detangle. Lastly, um, once I do rinse her with cool water, and the reason for the cool water rinse is to help close the cuticle. Remember, I just opened it with heat while she was under the dryer. So we're opening it right now, depositing all the goodness from the Hydra Strength Conditioner. And then from there, I need to close the cuticle, okay? So I still wanna close the cuticle, especially because she's high porosity. And then I will follow through with a slight mist of the leave-in conditioner. And then we will mold her or set her using our Elite Silk Wrap Foam. Yep. So that is what we are about to do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys over to the shampoo bowl and then I will get you positioned so you are able to see the ending process of the, of the wash day and then we'll do the actual mold and you'll be able to see the mold. Cool, come with me. When I'm ready to give, boy, you will let me, boy, you keep holding me, and I'm ready to give, boy, you keep holding me, dun, 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 All right. Okay, so she has completed her conditioning process. So I'm going to go ahead and take the processing cap off. I'm gonna go ahead and take a wide tooth or wider tooth comb, okay? And just comb through. And remember, she did have some tracks in, so at this point, this is where I'm going to just comb through to make sure that any type of adhesive that we used has been removed. Now, clearly you can tell her roots have begun or her new growth is coming back, but the Elite Silk Wrap Foam is going to take care of all of that, so. I know I can get it to lay down and have this baby look nice and and shiny and laid. All right, come on back for me. So I'm gonna turn the water to cool. <laughs> you can never prepare them enough for this cool water. So we're gonna go ahead and towel dry her hair. So it's up for me. Towel dry me, you just don't want it to be sopping with water dripping everywhere. The purpose of spraying a leave-in conditioner is so that it can actually be left in the hair, okay? So you wanna towel dry the hair. Yes, please. Here, I'll tilt you guys this way so you can see. There we go. So I'm gonna take our Elite Hydration and Strength Leave-In Therapy Spray. And this is a hair milk. So a little goes a long way. I hold it back. I never go very close to the head. I hold it back and mist it on. Okay? All right, go ahead and sit in my chair. So I'm gonna bring you guys over to my chair so you can see the molding process. 
Now, if you notice, I did not use a towel again after that part of the process. I do want the actual leave-in conditioner to be left in. So you do not, do not, do not rinse leave-in conditioner off. All right. So you're gonna need your Elite Silk Wrap Foam. You're gonna also need wrap strips. These are called mega wrap strips, okay? Mega wrap strips, they're a lot wider than the typical wrap strip, and it's a lot um, easier to use in my eye, uh, in, in my thoughts, yes. All right, so we're gonna take our wrap foam here. What you wanna do is kind of go ahead and directionalize the hair or put the hair in the direction that you want to lay it. This will make your mold process a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of comb the hair where I want it to be. Just like that. All right, so I'm gonna take my wrap foam here, took down for me. If you notice, I didn't put it on her head. I'm putting it in my hand and distributing the wrap foam all over the head. Okay, so I'm gonna take my comb I want you guys to see something. As you guys know, her hair is growing back. It's not relaxed. But I want you to see how it lays down easily with our wrap foam. Look at that. Wrap foam is important with any shortcut maintenance. That is how you want your mold to be nice and smooth. So on this side, this is where she has a little more thinning. So as I was saying, this area was actually somewhat bald and now she has more than enough hair there where I don't even have to work as hard to cover it. Look at that. In this area, we barely had any hair, so this is great. Before, it was kind of like a hole here. Now she has hair that covers everything. So what I'm doing is just smoothing it out as I go. You want to go ahead and mold out your sideburns or however you want them to lay. And then same thing on this side. All right, so everything's molded. You're gonna take your wrap strip Stretch it out. So I pre-stretch it. I don't stretch it on the head. And then I like to place it. I don't like to wrap it around. I want to place it where I want it to hold. Okay? That's why I stretch it out first. Make it nice and snug, but not too snug. But you do want to you want to make it so you don't have room for the hair to expand while she's under the dryer. Okay, just like that. And then I'll take a second strip and literally I'll just fold the strip just so that it will hold my previous paper in place. Like 
tie it in a nice little bow in the front. And then she will go under the dryer for about 30 to 45 minutes to dry and then we'll curl her up and she'll be all done. You want the towel? Yeah. Okay. So as I said, I'm gonna put her under the dryer. Go ahead and sit up the dryer for me. I'm gonna put her under the dryer for about 30 to 45 minutes and then we will go ahead with our style. I hope you guys got some pointers from this video today. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video. I'm gonna turn her dryer on really quick. So she's now under the dryer. But as I was saying, for my newbies, please don't forget to thumbs up the video. Please don't forget to go ahead and thumbs up this live. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you know when I'm on doing my thing or maybe even doing a Q&A. I hope everybody, like I said, got some pointers from this video. Maybe there were some aha moments for you, things that you were like, eh, not sure about. Hopefully all of that was explained to you in this video. For those of you who are looking to get any of the products that I just talked about, you can go to EliteHairCareUSA.com, just like my YouTube name. And if you use the code YouTube, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E, you'll save an additional 15% off of your order. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.